Good morning, YouTube. So with today's video, let's talk about Guerlain. Guerlain Aqua Allegoria Coconut Fizz, which was launched in 2019 and it's classed as an aromatic fruity. The note breakdown for this one here, top notes are going to be coconut, nectar, and bergamot, with the mead being freesia and water fruits, and the base is going to be tonka bean and sandalwood. So what do I get from this one here? I'm not going to spray it on my body, and I'm not going to spray it in the air, because this is take number four. So... It's still lemon and it's actually quite strong. Now this opens up with a lot of coconut. The coconut itself is fruity, but it also is a little bit milky as well. I don't really get bergamot. I do get some white florals to add that, like to, to feminine it up a little bit as well. And the water fruit, I don't really get water fruit. What I get though is that there is like an accord that makes it more of a watery type of scent. The coconut, as I stated, is, is a milky type of coconut, but it's also watery at the same time. The base, you're still gonna get that coconut, but it also becomes more woody, and I don't get tonka bean itself, I do get musk, however. This fragrance is fresh from top to bottom. The coconut itself is very authentic. It's, there is a little green to this one here, and the coconut itself is supposed to be I don't know if you can hear that. It's supposed to be like coconut water. It's not supposed to be like a coconut itself. It's just like when you crack open a coconut, you're gonna get that water, right? I'm not a big fan of coconut water. I'm married to a Caribbean girl. I've been a part of the Caribbean culture for 20 years now. I'm from Toronto. I've just been immersed into the Caribbean culture for 20 years. It's Carabana weekend. This weekend is the long weekend of August. I just, I hate crowds and I hate the noise. I'm also down in Tosoco, Reggae, or Calypso. But I have dated girls from Trinidad, Jamaica. I love the cuisine. I love my Caribbean food. I love the women, clearly. I settled down with one. And I just love the culture itself. This does remind me of the Caribbean. It also, the coconut itself also reminds me of coconut water. I'm just not a fan of coconut water, but I do like this fragrance. This leans more on the casual end, you know, just everyday casual. I do think that you can wear it to work. And depending on where you look, some, some websites will state that it's unisex, while others will state that it's feminine. I do think that it does dive more towards the ladies out there, but as a guy myself, I don't mind wearing this one. Longevity of this was pretty solid, six to eight hours. Generally was like six to seven, but on a few occasions, I did get eight hours as well. This is a summertime fragrance just because of the note of coconut. Price tag, unfortunately at the time of this recording, it's actually like, it's out of stock. Depending, it, it don't matter where you look, this is just not in stock. I don't know if it's discontinued, but I wouldn't be surprised if it is. When I was doing my research a couple months ago, because I was initially trying to do this video then, I saw this range anywhere from like 60 to $90. Canadian. Wife's thoughts? The wife does like this one quite a bit. She does state that it's more towards the ladies, but she also said that it reminds her of coconut water. So she did say it's very refreshing, which it is as well. So in the end, is this one that I would recommend? Yeah, I really, I was very surprised by this one here. I thought I wasn't going to like it just because I'm not a big fan of coconut fragrances. I, I like a few, like one that comes to mind is it's a cheapy guess guess 1981 or guess indigo for men super cheap you know i like it this is better blended of course but some coconut fragrances i do enjoy and this is a fragrance that i personally would recommend for anybody now if you are like really into like your masculine type of fragrances like your your deep dark scents that really lean on the masculine side then this is one that you're not going to really enjoy wearing. You're gonna think it's way too girly for you. However, you just might like it on your partner. So I do recommend you sampling if you can. Again, I ended up getting my decant from myfragrancesamples.com. I am not sponsored, but that link will be down in the description box below, including all the other Guerlain videos that I have done. So that is my review of a Guerlain Aqua Allegoria Coconut Fizz. If you liked this very video, leave me one of these. If you wanna see other summer fragrances, then check out this side here. I thank you for your time, take care, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.